So I guess, Aaron, we just have to hope for a mild winter because well, I mean, we, none crossed. of us, none of us want to see money. it is. And, and, and none of us want the kind of winter that no. we saw last year mm. and then the year before I'm that anyway. The year so, before that. Yeah. 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 So let's just give us a mild winter. Uh, well, I can give you a mild forecast today. Okay. Uh, you can't we'll guarantee that. what's going to happen we'll until February it. of 23. But for now, we just focus on the calm, right? Sunny skies, 88 degrees at DFW. We've got a dew point of 39. So humidity is down to 18% right now. Remember, we've talked about the relative humidity values in the teens and 20th percentiles. So at this point, it's very dry air. Fortunately, the wind is light, but remember, we are dealing with drought conditions still across North Texas. So we're going to want to avoid burning, uh, outdoor burning over the next several days, especially on Thursday. That's when it gets a little breezier. Tomorrow, south winds at about 5 to 10, mostly sunny, up to 90 degrees. So a little bit of a warm up tomorrow, but uh, some cooler air in for Thursday and Friday and temperatures more seasonal. Friday, 83 degrees, sunny skies and east wind at 5 to 10. Our weather is very calm. It gives us some time to talk about Hurricane Ian. So a Category 3 hurricane, 230 miles south of Sarasota, Florida right now, moving to the north at 10 miles an hour. Forecast to become a Category 4 hurricane overnight, and it approaches the Fort Myers coastline Wednesday afternoon as a Category 4 hurricane as well. Note that the track has shifted over the last 18 hours or so a little farther to the south. It's moving in a little bit faster as well. Faster for now, and then it begins to slow down. So here we are at 2 p.m. on Wednesday as that storm is likely approaching the Florida coastline. Then we have a Category 1 hurricane by 2 a.m. on Thursday. It's barely moved. So this coastline is dealing with storm surge. It's dealing with heavy rain. It's dealing with hurricane force winds. And we get to Thursday afternoon. I mean, we're talking about maybe moving 50 to 60 miles. This is not uh, a fast moving system. So we're going to see potentially feet of rain even for parts of central Florida as well. New to the track is that it does bring the storm back out over the Atlantic before likely making landfall again as a tropical storm on coastal Georgia or maybe coastal South Carolina on Friday. So the tropical forecast models, they've been picking up on this track a little bit more, that shift a little farther to the south and east. East and then kind of moving back out over the Atlantic. The storm surge forecast uh, is really becoming critical for Fort Myers, Fort Myers down towards Naples, where you can see highlighted in red here, 8 to 12 feet of storm surge. That is on top of over a foot of rain expected. So very significant uh, conditions, uh, very significant impacts from Hurricane Ian looks like to the Fort Myers area. Locally, we've got the sunshine, we've got the cool mornings and very pleasant afternoons. It does look like temperatures get back close to 90 degrees by midweek of next week, guys.